Hey, what's this over here? There's a sign. To make all your dreams come true, choose the book Light Blue. Ooh, riddles. I do love me some riddles. Okay, so we're looking for a light blue book. If we can... Aha! Okay, so if I choose... Oh, oh, oh. oh. Subscribe? That must be how you're supposed to make all of your dreams come true. <laughs> All right, everybody. So I'm gonna show you how to make this little nifty room here where you can close yourself in and you can close it from out here as well. And obviously what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you build it in a room that has a bunch of these chiseled bookshelves. That way they can mess around with whatever books they want to and they'll have to get lucky in order to find the correct book to actually even open your door here. Since there's so many different books and the only one that's gonna open it here is this light blue one right here. And uh, obviously, you're not gonna have this sign, so they won't even know. So let's go ahead and take a look at the mechanism out here. So it's actually a very, very simple mechanism. I've built it a couple of different ways right here, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to build it as well. So in here, I have all of the items you're gonna need, so you can go ahead and take a screenshot of that. These ones are optional. These are the important ones you're gonna need and we're just gonna take them out and I'm gonna show you step by step how to make this happen. So what you're first gonna wanna do is find out where you want to place your bookshelf that you're gonna have be opening your door. So we're gonna put our bookshelf right there and because our bookshelf is right there, we wanna place these three blocks like so out here. Now we're gonna take a redstone comparator and we're gonna put it pointing out the back of this bookshelf. That way we can take a redstone signal from the bookshelf. We're gonna take redstone dust and put it there and there. That way it's gonna point into these two sticky pistons right here. Now on these sticky pistons, you can take whatever your building block is gonna be, whatever you want your secret door to be made out of and attach them there. Now it's important that you don't use these guys, the chiseled bookshelves as this block because they cannot be moved by pistons. So you wanna make sure that whatever block you use is one that is gonna be able to be moved by those pistons. Now we've got this set up, that is basically the gist of it. Now you're gonna be able to close your door and open your door, but once you go inside, you're not gonna be able to close it. So in order to close your door, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another block, put it right here, and we're gonna throw a lever on it. Now that's gonna let us close our door from the inside, and anybody on the outside that tries to open it is not gonna be able to open it. It's not gonna open for them. However, we can open it and we can also open it and close it once we get out here. Placing or removing the blue one is going to be the only book that will open your door. However, any of these other books are going to be able to close it for you. So when somebody's trying to figure out how to open your door, they are gonna have to either remove or place this book. And to close it, it's just messing around with any of these different books here. Now, if you want your door to open a little bit farther away, you can still go ahead and use the same mechanism. However, you're only gonna wanna go a total of six redstone dust away, or you can just go ahead and throw a repeater two redstone dusts away. So it will be on that third, where the third redstone dust will be, is where your repeater will go. And then your door will work in exactly the same way. The blue book will open it and all of these other books will close it. You can attach this little redstone thing here in a couple of different ways and I've shown that over here. So if you want your book to be up high like this, you just do two blocks and then one block down here. If you want your thing to be in the middle, that's the one we showed you. And if you want your bookshelf to be on the floor, you would do it like this. Now for the optional step, we have this chest, hopper, and books, and these will go ahead and sit on top of your bookshelf. You can put the chest on top of the hopper and load the books into the chest. What this will do is it's going to fill this so that anytime you take a book out, it will automatically get replaced. And that way nobody can even tell what books have been taken out and what books have not. Click on that video on screen right now to learn how to make a hidden door with no buttons or levers or anything that anybody will be any the wiser about. It's perfectly hidden and it's super easy to learn as well. Go check it out and I'll see you over there.